Hi Gemini, welcome to this reading. You might find this resonates more if Gemini is your sun or rising sign. So let's have a look and see the messages that Spirit would like would like you to know at this time. We have the Ace of Cups in the reverse. Ooh, is that too bright? Hmm, we'll see. Okay, um, so as I was shuffling, I was seeing an egg. So that could talk about a new beginning. And then we get the Ace of Cups. So it's in the reverse. Interesting. We have the High Priestess. The Three of Wands. The Five of Cups. I almost feel that even now, it's all it, because of perhaps a lack of communication or holding back or one or both of you still doing some sort of reflective work, um, there's something that might be missed or it might feel like it was wasted. It's almost like all of the goodness, you know, all of the emotion here in this cup represented by the water that's it's literally overflowing. It, it, it might not all, it might go to waste a little. I didn't want to say go to waste because it's not going to waste. Um, okay, let's jump straight into something heavy. Let's talk about trauma. So if someone has been through some kind of trauma, um, let's say in childhood, and that trauma taught them that the only way to get through it was to detach, to numb themselves, to numb their feelings, to, um, you know, disassociate from their feelings. Um, it can be difficult as an adult to suddenly be able to connect with those feelings or to find those feelings because they have numbed themselves to them and, and they live that way for years. So it takes work to dig them out, to reconnect. So it's almost like whoever is giving all of this emotion might feel a bit disappointed that the other person is not able to fully absorb the emotion. And the other person, you know, who cannot absorb all of it, all of this goodness, might also feel disappointed and frustrated because they can see it's good, they can see it's wonderful. And, that, you know, of course, who doesn't want something that feels wonderful? But there is some some sort of reason they can't claim it all you know maybe intellectually yes but emotionally it's like that they, they might have trouble receiving it and reciprocating okay yeah see five of um cups exactly feeling disappointed with themselves okay yeah, seven of shields, seven of pentacles. So I feel this is a reading saying, this is really catering to those of you who are feeling like, come on, we've been doing our work. I've been doing my work. This has taken time. I know we're ready to go. You know, um, what's the hold up here? Um, I feel it's spirit saying, yeah, I mean, you could have a new beginning. The seven of, of coins, it's when we, um, we're ready to go. Both parties have invested so much, regardless of how it looks, there have been thoughts that have gone into it. There has been time, emotion, maybe actual past experiences together. Um, you know, so much consideration that's, that's here, you know, literally like here in this cauldron, in this pot, um, ready to, to go into the making of an amazing connection, but yet we're still waiting. So we're saying, well, why? Why are we waiting? What are we waiting for? I just feel spirit saying, because if this was to come around in this exact moment, you might be able to, to experience this to its fullest, but, but well, not to its fullest, but 70%, 80%. And there would be a feeling of, you know, there's still a way in which we're not completely connecting, or I feel we could be making more of this, this moment, this opportunity. Um, and again, this might be both of you feeling it, it could be one of you feeling it, and then that could lead the other person to feel maybe a bit rejected or a bit disappointed. But um, it's not through a lack of care. Both of you would really want to say, oh my God, a new beginning, ace of uh, cups, fantastic. But um, I feel someone here is not quite in a place to be able to say, oh, you're offering me this overflowing cup. Great, I can receive this. I deserve this. I am able to give this back. Um, it could even be whoever this is, you or your person, is very much able to give this overflowing cup, um, but they have trouble receiving it. So we could be looking here at someone or maybe both of you who are used to being givers, caring for others, nurturing for others, but to have this much for you to receive this is um, maybe unusual or overwhelming. So, I mean, I guess you'll know if you resonate with that. So it could be, like I said, both of you, it could be your person, it could be you. Yeah, four of swords. 
okay, so whoever would have the trouble with the receiving would find themselves doing lots and lots of thinking and feeling, but not being able to get this across. I'm also seeing whoever this is very successfully going through this healing process right now, whether they're aware of it or not. It could be that they're consciously putting effort into this. It could be that it's happening in the background. So this is something that is being worked through. Um, so, it, you know, it's not sort of idle time, wasted time. Um, I'll come back to that High Priestess in a moment. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, see, Three of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. Why can't we, you know, why can't we have this now? Why can't we go from the Seven of Pentacles, which is waiting, watching, to the Eight, which is actually be, being diligent, putting in time and effort? Um, what's the hold up here? Okay, nine of cups, yes, yes, nine of cups reverse, the king of cups in reverse with, look, this, five of cups. So somebody here, let me just, for the sake of, of being able to just explain this, switch it if you need to. Let me say this might be how your person is feeling. Okay, turn this around. We have five of cups reversed. So basically we're focusing on the two, four cups, except yes, we've had a past, we've had a history, cups have been spilled, but we're not thinking about that. We're being positive, we're moving forward. King of cups, so much emotion, so much love, so much steadiness within this emotion. Nine of cups, wish fulfillment, brilliant, amazing. This is where both of you are wanting to be. And maybe one of you is ready for this and, and in this place, but the other person would be so frustrated with themselves because their wish is right in front of them. You know, they have all this love, all this love is being offered. Um, and they feel that they maybe, as much as they want to, as much as they're trying, they can't quite take it, absorb it, reciprocate it, you know? So it's all, you know, we talk about self-sabotage, but someone doing silly things maybe and doing it consciously it, it's not even that it's this person it's i wish i could explain the frustration i'm feeling it's like i want this so much but i i don't know how yeah maybe it's that i don't know how i've never experienced a connection like this um a love like this i've or someone treating me in this way. It's almost too nice for, you know, it's overwhelming. It's maybe freaking me out. Um, or I, I just, I just, I, you know, I can't connect with it fully emotionally. I hope this is making sense. <laughs> um, I'm also feeling frustrated trying to sort of put this into words. So maybe as well, there's, this is not something they have told you, or maybe if it's you, you haven't been able to explain to them. And they might think, again, if it's them, it sounds kind of silly. You know, you're offering me um, care, attention, um, compassion, encouragement, all of that stuff, but I'm not able to accept it. You know, well, why not? It's just my stuff. Well, because I'm not used to that. And I have to almost, you know, I have to learn this. I have, um, I hope this makes sense. <laughs> Let's get some more um, detail here. So I think what we should do, let's go straight to the High Priestess with the Four of Swords. They're working together. Like I said, this healing that's happening, whether um, whoever is healing knows it consciously or not, but also they're, they're working separately in some way is what I'm feeling. So let's check in with the High Priestess first. Okay, Two of Pentacles, the Two of, yes, Two of Swords in reverse. So something that, that um, previously it was difficult to maybe even realize or see or difficult to fathom comprehend is is making itself visible is coming into focus now maybe you know it's difficult to realize gosh I've never really been truly loved by you know by someone in a selfless way and that includes family and parents maybe that's a difficult realization for someone to have but you know they're starting to see starting to realize six of wands in reverse yeah so we're really bypassing the ego here so right now if you're wondering what's my person doing in relation to our connection how do they feel where are they what's their perspective um they're, they're going very deep within and doing some serious healing and they're realizing that through this connection through you they're understanding that 
maybe how they've been treated in the past hasn't been okay, to say the least. Um, and that they've never been able to fully give or receive love. It's almost like every single connection of, of all kinds has reached, you know, 70%. It's never reached its, its full um, potential. Um, what's so interesting to me is often when we do these readings, we'll see, oh, an obstacle is um, a karmic, interfering parents, work, geographical distance. You can see how none of that's coming up here because really that's actually not the issue. Even if, okay, in a 3D sense, yes, your person is working 70 hours a week and um, they let their mother decide who they should marry. Yes, of course that's an obstacle, but if we you know, take steps backwards, why is it that they allow themselves to overwork? Why is it that maybe as an adult, they haven't set those boundaries with a parent? You know, this is how far back, this is how deep your person is going. Okay, gosh, I did not necessarily think we'd be getting this intense today, but it's not, it's a good thing actually, it's not bad. Okay, so let's have a look at the Four of Swords then. Ooh, the lovers, nice. So as a side note, if your connection has been sort of in the shadow side, it's been difficult, you've been working through things, I feel we're very much moving back now into the light. So you see how healing, it seems like one person is very heavily healing, but it doesn't have to mean there won't be communication, that your connection together will be difficult. You know, healing's happening alongside your connection actually um, improving, getting better, even if it's great, you know, it looks like we're, we're still heading in a positive direction. The lovers is Gemini energy. Um, ruled by Mercury, again, talks about communication. Um, the lovers can also be making a big decision, a big choice. So let's see. Oh, the high priestess in reverse. Gosh, okay. With the knight of wands in reverse. For some of you, there could be the decision made here to communicate about some of this. Now, it might not be instant because I think it's a process that, that whoever this is, is is still going through now. Um, but it's almost like at a certain point, once a certain level of healing has happened, this person's going to say, I'm going to make a very brave and bold decision to cut ties with how I used to communicate with you, how I used to show up in this connection, and I'm going to be more authentic. So it doesn't mean they're necessarily going to say, oh, I've been doing all this inner work and I've realized this and that, you know, especially if you've not spoken in a while, but they, they are committing to themselves, you know, saying I'm going to be more authentic. Um, if a conversation comes up around things that have happened, why I haven't um, expressed more or been, been able to, um, you know, be more loving or receive love or something like that. Maybe I will share some of this. Um, but yeah, I don't, that's not immediately, that's not right now. Right now we're still um, healing, moving forward with the healing. Okay. The hanged man in the reverse. We have, yeah, death in reverse, king of cups. Okay, so we have Scorpio energy here. But what I'm seeing again is if this was to happen right now, as I said, you could have about maybe 70, 80%. So it would be good, no, no question. It would be actually great, but it wouldn't be mind-blowingly wonderful and it can be that you know and I guess that's why spirit is saying not yet maybe that's why your person also is holding back because you know you've gone through all of this you've waited this long however that how long however long that is for you why rush the final stage and it is the final stage with death you know if you if you were to move forward now this person who is healing would be feeling like i'm so close to some kind of a breakthrough but i jumped the gun just that bit too early you know um even though it would be great you, both of you would have the feeling a, a frustrated feeling i'm sure it could be better Okay. What was I being drawn to? I have an example in my head. Let me, it's silly, but I can't think of anything until I say it. <laughs> so it's like having a coffee. Um, if you were to get together now, it would be like a coffee with milk. 
But maybe you have, you know, a sweet tooth and you're saying, mm, it's OK, it's a bit bitter, but I don't know what would make it better. But I have a sense there are things out there that could make this better. Whereas if you, you sort of, um, you know, if this doesn't come together just yet, but we allow death to come in to complete a new beginning to happen, um, you know, healing to happen, then we can have a coffee with milk, we could have sugar, we could have cream, we could have sweetener, we could put honey, you know, do you see how it, it, it's fine, but it could be so much better for both of you. So yeah, if you were to come together now, good, but with a but. Um, it's like, I feel it's, it's most likely your person, although, you know, you may find that this mirrors between you because this this is a very high um, level soul uh, based connection here. So you may recognize some of this in yourself, but um, this, your person is really on the precipice here of, of something huge that will, I, I feel change so much for them. Um, and this change began because of this connection, you know, the realizations that came to them through this connection and through the struggles, the highs, the lows, um, the the contact, the separations. Okay. Hmm. Let's see what's on the back. Ah, perfect. You see the wheel of fortune in the reverse. It's here. We're close, but spirit's saying not quite yet. And if you've been wondering why, this is why Sagittarius energy. Okay, so before we move on to the one question, one cards, um, let's just see what we can get from the immunology deck and also from the archangels. If you'd like to leave a question for um, next Friday's draw for the one question, one card, please just leave it in the comments. We also have Pisces energy here. Okay, can we have a card, please? Okay. It's time to take action, new moon in Aries. So, I mean, that's interesting. We'll see where we go. I don't feel it is time quite yet. Um, We'll see what kind of action though. Maybe we'll get more insight with that through the Archangel deck. Um, maybe it's going to be very soon. Yeah, look, see, conclusions are within reach for Moon Eclipse. It's almost, and look how these came out. If we were to take action now, we'd be jumping the gun, but only just slightly. You know, we're not saying um, conclusions are happening in 27 years. You know, it's almost like right around the corner you know and then it's time to take action so we could go now we could take action now but why you know why would we do that when there would be a feeling of frustration and disappointment on both sides um potentially um when very soon it could be wonderful okay we have a step out of your comfort zone north node yeah i mean this is whoever we've been looking at here who's doing this this healing and having these realizations they're definitely stepping outside of their comfort zone what do you need to release suspicion fear guardedness you know and look at this scene it's cold it's frosty uh, this is someone who has trouble connecting with um these sort of more joyful happy emotions because at some point it just was not okay to do so it wasn't safe uh, and now it's like a relearning process okay well how do I do this this could be someone who at times has asked themselves am I actually happy will I ever be happy is this thing making me happy I don't know you know okay what they do know is you do actually make them happy um but I think they've had trouble knowing what to do with that, um, how how to sit with that knowing. Okay, Archangels, what can you share, please? Outdoors, go outdoors, sorry, go outside, get some fresh air and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. Okay, so an action you could take maybe is to um, relax, go outside, get some air, be in nature, get creative. 
keep yourself grounded and balanced i feel some grounded some grounding might be necessary after this reading actually okay what else please Peace. Peace comes from remembering that only love is real. Yeah. Okay. So this person has not been at peace um, because they have been pushing love away. Um, yeah. Okay. So they are finding peace. Remember that Four of Swords card that comes after the pain of the Three of Swords. You know, this is actually huge because for a long time I, I've been seeing in these readings the Three of Swords reverse, Four of Swords reverse, showing me that there, someone here has been stuck in, in limbo. Um, you know, almost in this void where, okay, if they shut down their emotions, pain can't reach them, only maybe to a certain degree, but nothing devastating. But at the same time, joy, love, excitement, fulfillment can't reach them either. And, and they've just been sat there and now they're moving forward. Okay, let's see one more, this one here. <laughs> All is well. Everything is happening exactly as it is supposed to. With hidden blessings, you will soon understand. And isn't that pretty much the message of the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse? You know, it's all happening as it's supposed to. What you consider to be a delay is spirit saying um, room for growth, room for enhancement, room for improvement, making the end result better. And um, yeah, as I was saying, the Wheel of Fortune is reversed, but it's here. So it's soon going to be revealed. And underneath this, oh my goodness, Seven of Swords reversed, Ace of Swords reversed. So any mask wearing, deception, anything like that, will be cleared away the truth will be revealed and also we have page of cups reversed so this could be um, the communication that's that's waiting to come in and then we get the four of wands so this is the union the reunion oh my god i could go on we have the five of pentacles in reverse coming out of separation we have the ten of cups happiness the happiness that you know it's been difficult for one or both of you to fully accept and embrace up until now we have the Three of Cups in reverse. Any third party situations disappearing. Yeah, I mean, that's amazing. Okay, so I hope this has helped. I hope it, um, you know, if it resonated with you, I hope it made sense. And um, thank you. Thank you for the suggestion. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave this here. If you are heading off, thank you for being here. Have a nice weekend. Um, if you're watching this when it's released. If you're sticking around, I will clear this away and I'm going to do the one question, one card readings. Also, um, just wanted to say, if you're still here, in the, the original question, um, it was the part of the question was, you know, if there was to be a reunion or a union now, would it, you know, would it essentially be a full healthy relationship? Would it be just sexual? And I just wanted to emphasize and highlight that it, yes, it looked like it would be a full complete relationship just to let you guys know that, you know, all the work you've been doing, if you've been doing healing inner work separately together, um, it, it's paid off, you know, especially if you started in a place where you connected and it, it was physical or sexual or flirtatious and nothing else. No, you're, you're both way beyond that now. You know, yes, that's part of it, but it's not the whole thing. Um, so yeah, so just in case you were thinking, oh, are we getting anywhere? Yes, absolutely. Um, as the cards were showing, you are very close. Okay, so thank you everyone for your questions. So today's winners are, um, are, so let me try and explain it. So like a star, asterisk are, and with another star we have look beneath the surface and baby pop okay what's going on here what okay right <laughs> let's begin okay so for our spirit can you show us please has he started the separation or divorce procedure so has our person started the separation or divorce procedure can you tell us please uh, ten of wands 
Eight of Cups, well, that's definitely promising in terms of separation. Four of Swords in reverse and the Chariot. I mean, that looks to me like a yes. It looks like he's focused. He has a goal in mind. Let's see what's underneath. King of Cups. So he wants to do what's most fulfilling um, in terms of love, emotion, what's satisfying emotionally rather than what might make logical sense. So... Ten of Wands, the burden is over. We've reached an ending. Eight of Cups, we all know, is walking away from a situation we have invested in. It may have been emotionally filling at one point, but it's not anymore. Um, Four of Swords in reverse. If he, if you have felt maybe he's sort of um, not been taking action, maybe just being a bit complacent, a little bit lazy, I see that there's action being taken now. Also, the Four of Swords is a very calm, peaceful card. So if someone is... Um, going through a separation or a divorce obviously it creates some drama so I'm seeing you know the the balance has been upset here so this to me looks like a yes um the process of walking away has begun and it looks with the chariot that he will not be deterred from his goal which is um doing honestly what feels good on a soul level because the chariot follows the star the star is that inner calling pulling us somewhere even if it doesn't logically make sense yet okay so thank you for your question i hope that helped so look beneath the surface you have asked how does my person view me so let's see okay spirit how does this person view look beneath the surface how does that person view them, please? Six of Pentacles in the reverse. Three of Cups reversed. Six of Cups. Hmm, that's a bit interesting. Three of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Seven of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Two of Swords. Your person views you in a way you may find surprising. They view you, first of all, as having many options um, and actually being a bit closed off and a bit guarded. Um, now, what I feel when I saw the Seven of Cups, Seven of Wands, Five of Pentacles, there could be a feeling from your person of insecurity. If they feel you have options, whether you do or not, um, and they feel that they might have to compete, but they don't feel so good about themselves, they might be projecting onto you and saying, oh, well, here I am, but you never make time for me. You're not prioritizing me. Um, I, you know, your heart space is closed. You're not very open with me. And maybe that's all the things they're doing. And it's coming from a place of fear. Or oh, you have options. You might not choose me. Because um, there's a, a little bit of a feeling of like a knee-jerk reaction. A reaction that's coming from a low vibrational place. Um, and, you know, when, when we're triggered by something, we can argue we can blame we can point the finger we can say well it's your fault you did this you know um so yeah i feel like this is a, a little hint just a hint you know like you put a pinch of salt in a recipe a tiny hint of blame like well you you called me in you drew me in and now you're not making time for me but it really feels that that's not an objective look at the situation i think there is some worry here on your person's part that um you have another option maybe from the past or you have people interested around you and so if you know your person can maybe tend to sometimes be jealous or insecure i'm seeing that here so for right now um it's almost like the way they're seeing you is very much colored by how they're feeling i guess that's natural to an extent um and how they're feeling is vulnerable a little bit uncertain and a bit afraid um, so they're casting some kind of judgment that isn't quite accurate. So let me try and see when they're feeling maybe more high vibrational, how do they see you in general? How does your person see you? Yeah, see, look, the emperor, they see you as someone definitely worthy of notice, you know, of their attention, many other people's attention. They see you as someone who is very, um, wise you may even be an entrepreneur you know the emperor can be an entrepreneur business owner but you're very confident successful in control um you might be very driven as well definitely a very impressive person here that's how they feel about you in general but i think they're intimidated i have to say maybe by you by this connection um and there's definitely a feeling of 
maybe I'm not worthy enough. And then they get kind of upset about it and a bit cross, and then they project some of that. The Four of Swords, I wonder if the reading I just did maybe really resonates with you as well. Okay, so your person seems to be going through something at the moment. I think, you know, how they're seeing you right now is very much a reflection of how they are feeling. Um, in general, I think there's a hell of a lot of respect for you, a attention, um, attention? Yeah, attention given to you from them and admiration. Yeah, we have the sun. Okay, so thank you. So Baby Pop, um, will we be together for my birthday this year? So November 4th, so happy birthday for November. So will me, me, will we be together for my birthday this year, November 4th? So Spirit, what can you say? Will Baby Pop and their person be together for their birthday, um, the 4th of November this year? Okay, we have the Devil, Capricorn, Two of Cups in Reverse, Five of Cups Reverse. That's a heavy, intense, complicated energy. The Page of Swords, the Page of Wands, King of Cups, goodness. There will be some sort of communication here, some kind of togetherness, yes, but there is, if you, you're very aware of maybe um, low vibrational patterns um, that have played out between you both, maybe there might be addictions on um, their side or, or an addiction to one another, um, that still seems to be at play. It could also be, yes, you will be together, you will come back together, and it's going to be so, so intense um, that it's a little bit difficult, you know, two of cups, maybe you're both so intense and you have this intense vision and, and you both feel like, yes, I know, I know the best way to do this. And you're sort of clashing and it's, you know, heated and fiery. So um, <laughs> let me get some advice. Okay, because there's amazing energy here. We've got the two of cups and the five of cups reverse, as I just said, for me is essentially the two of cups with a history, with a past. Um, okay. So what's the advice, please, Spirit, for Baby Pop here? Very intense. Page of Cups reversed. Knight of Swords reversed. Okay, Hanged Man in reverse. There's got to be communication about something that's bubbling under the surface. So one or both of you might need to speak about something that's happening in the current moment when this happens or something that's happened in the past. And, um, you know, it could be connected here with the devil. It could be why whatever this energy is, is still in play because it hasn't been you know we haven't brought it out into the light we haven't put words to it so it's still going on beneath the surface so if you're cross about something uh, the best advice honestly is to say it even if it feels like a risk and the same for your person if you feel that there's something they're holding back even if it's like oh this isn't going to be great to hear or you know something like that spirit's saying actually in the long run it's going to be it's going to be a good thing um to get this communication out because otherwise it's it's almost like push pull push pull it's it's there's no balance it's um wonderful it's awful it's wonderful it's awful and and that cannot be sustained so yeah i'm seeing a form of coming together i think it may need a little work but there's more good here than um than difficult so i think it's worth you know trying to have these conversations and um being brave and, and saying what needs to be said Okay, so thank you so much, everyone. I'm going to leave this here. So I'll see you on Monday. So enjoy yourselves. Take care and speak soon. Bye.